Hey everybody, Chris from uh, Small Cap Crypto Investing. We're a uh, group on Facebook, uh, just a bunch of friends, coworkers, uh, and family. And uh, and now we're opening the group to a larger audience. But uh, seek us out, join. What you get right out of the gate is uh, all the new coins that were created overnight. Uh, you're going to get them pushed into the Facebook group every morning. Uh, top seven, seven coins trending on CoinGecko. And then also uh, every hour, we are going to be highlighting any rockets, right? So coins that have had a 10% or more increase in price uh, over the last hour. So uh, like I said, seek us out, join us. Uh, you won't regret it. Now let's get into the video today. I am highlighting a tool on uh, PooCoin.app. I've been using PooCoin for months. Uh, and I just came across this tool recently, and it is a rug check tool. So before I present the tool and, and, and what it does. Uh, let's start off with highlighting the problem, and that is uh, a rug pull. And how do you define a rug pull? Well, really, in its most simplistic terms, it is a token that was created and marketed and sold solely for the purposes of enriching its owners and generally just stealing investor money. Uh, you can look up some, some cases here uh, by just using Google, right? Uh, rug pool, cryptocurrency, uh, you'll find quite a few sources. Um, so a rug check is uh, a way to at least get some directional data as to validating, uh, A, do you think this is a, uh, a possible rug pool? Um, you know, B, you know, this is also a great way just to see is this the coin that everyone is talking about and buying, right? And I'm going to showcase uh, an example that I came across actually by accident when I was looking to buy uh, a coin called Moon Juice, right? So let's jump into it, actually. Uh, let's say you join the group, and um, as part of the group, right, you get access to this nifty spreadsheet here. And we're going to look at the new tokens tab here. So go down to moon juice and uh in column d we've got a bunch of information and just from a developer standpoint i uh i gave up on trying to parse this uh, json object it was uh, there was no consistency throughout it so i just said all right i'm going to dump it in column d and um and folks will just have to sort of jump in and grab the token address here but uh, i'm on moon juice right i'm just grabbing the token id here uh, being careful that i'm not including that comma or the equal sign what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to PooCoin and I'm just going to drop it in here. And it's going to pull up Moon Juice, also known by its symbol Mojo. And you're going to see uh, some, some information, right? And, and we're going to go through this. Uh, if you want, right, and you're running this tool on your own, you can read through this in a little bit more uh, detail. But essentially, what this is telling you is here is the largest holder right of the tokens and we want to see this be a contract and not a wallet and i'll explain the difference between the two so with a contract uh what it is is essentially code that uh, dictates what the contract is going to do when it uh, interacts with uh, buyers or sellers or, um, you know, if there's money that's set to go into a liquidity pool, that money's going to go there, all of these things. A wallet is just like what it sounds, right? It is a uh, sort of a place to hold money. So in this instance, when we see that the, uh, you know, the, the largest holder, right, for Moon Juice is a contract. Now, we do see this, right, that there's a main wallet that's holding quite a bit of the coins, right? And then we see uh, contract, contract, right? And then uh, some other wallets. And just based on these uh, smaller amounts, right? Um, these could be dev wallets. Uh, they, they could also just be whales, right? Who got in. Uh, looks like the total supply, right? Is, is quite a bit. So um, I know we're not seeing it all here. There has to be some funds, maybe somewhere else. But anyway, um, what I wanna do is, uh, a just kind of show you this like this is a great way to look is this a rug pull i'll be honest this makes me a little uncomfortable right seeing this many coins uh sitting in a wallet and uh 
and and not necessarily in a contract or not necessarily broken up amongst several wallets. Uh, so that's that's question one, right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and um, do a little bit more research on this. Now I'm going to just go into uh, bscscan.com. You can also do this for Ether. It's etherscan.io. You'll notice that um, these websites are remarkably the same, and, and you can see here, right, a product of Etherscan. So when you need to do BNB tokens, look at BSC Scan. When you need to do Ether-based uh, tokens, do Etherscan, right? And I should say Ether-based coins and tokens. Uh, that's more of a technical bit there, too. So uh, I'm going to go into Binance Explorer, right? And I'm going to punch in this address, right? And it's going to come back. And I'm going to take a look at it. And it is the uh, contract for Moon Juice. And what I want to do is actually I grab Moon Juice. Let's see. Oh, I see what I did there. Let's actually do this. Add token, and then add the token address. This is going to take you right to it. All right, so we are in uh, token moon juice, and a few things that we want to look for, uh, besides even possible rug pull, right? We're also just looking at, like, is this the right coin? And here's how you're going to do this. The, the first thing is, um, how many holders are there, right? So there are 25, almost 26,000 holders. That's a, that's a good sign, right? You can, you know, scammers can fool a lot of people. They can't fault, for, you know, scam all of the people at the same time. Typically what happens when you're in a scam coin, word leaks out, right? Uh, people try to exit the coin. You will see that. Uh, you see also the number of transfers. That's a good. Um, if you're seeing transfers like under a thousand and the coin's been alive for maybe a day or two, like that's a, that's, that's a concern. Um, the other thing is looking at the transfers, right? Or the transactions. And you can see that these are, are really recent, right? 12 seconds all the way to one minute. You can scroll down. You can kind of continue to see them. And you see it right at page one of uh, 2,362. Now, uh, the other thing you want to look at is the quantity, right? Uh, do not put it past these scammers that they will uh, set up wallets and execute transactions through bots and things like that. But what will often be a hallmark of this is that the quantity will be exceptionally low. And the reason for that is that they don't wanna pay you know, the smart chain or they don't wanna pay the gas uh, in, in Ether, right? To essentially move these tokens around. They're looking to just merely make it look good. Um, low quantity, high transfers, like that's a concern. Um, but let's, let's actually take one step further, right? So, if you remember, we went into the small cap uh, crypto investing spreadsheet. We then went into PooCoin, right? We dropped that link, that um, token ID. We then went over to BCCS scan, and we looked at the token here, right? Now let's go to Google, right? And and I actually just have this up. Moon just crypto. And what we're looking for is the website, right? Now, this is where this is going to get a little bit uh, fun, also crazy scary. So we're in Google, right? I see Moon Juice, Home, Holder, Stake, Juice Token. All right. This looks this looks like this might be the token, right? Um, Game of Fruits. This is interesting. All right. Excellent. I like this. So um, how do I get the juice? All right. Well, look at here. Whenever um, these websites are linking out right to Uniswap, or if they're linking out to PancakeSwap, what happens is is the uh, the token ID automatically populates in these URL strings. So this is a great opportunity to go back to Moon Juice, right, and just search for the token ID that I got here, right. It doesn't show up. All right. Oh, okay. Maybe that's. So I'm gonna back out. Oh, actually, this is 
Uh, this looks like the token juice, right? This isn't the right one. Okay, so let's go back out to Google. And let's see if maybe, um, all right, look at this moon juice brewed on the moon. All right, moon juice app. Oh, look at this, buy mojo. Okay. That's still like, I don't, you know, I don't really know. Is this the right token? And then you can kind of see when I, uh, when I, when I hover over this buy on wind spot, right? You can see in the, uh, link output on the bottom. It has the uh, winswap.finance, right? Swap output currency equals, right? And then it's got the token address. So let's actually just go in here real quick. We're going to grab this um, token address. And now let's go back. And now we see, right? Moon juice. This is correct. This is the right token address. So we just put together a couple of different data points. And along the way, uh, we potentially saved ourselves, right? Not not from a scam coin, right? Just from a coin that uh, sort of looks similar. Uh, it's different, but you can see how when you're just looking in Google and you're trying to get the coin and you're sort of in a hurry, um, maybe you're a little bit anxious, you can see how you can make a mistake. Um, so please, when you are looking at new coins, uh, definitely, if you can try to use the sheet, I get this data direct from the exchanges. I'm not saying that there can't be lookalike tokens in here or tokens that have similar names. They absolutely can. Um, however, the, the point is, is that this is a fairly good starting point. It's not social media, right? It's not stock twits. It's not uh, some rando telegram channel, right? Where people are just throwing token IDs and out there that's bad news. We should never be doing that. We should always do our own research and, and, and not just taking token IDs directly to uh, PancakeSwap or, or one of these other exchanges. So if you have any questions about how to use the KuCoin uh, rug check tool, if you have any questions about joining a small cap crypto investing group, or if you have any questions once you're a member about how to use the sheet, uh, please reach out to me uh, just by posting a question in the group. Uh, I'm really responsive, or uh, we have other folks, right, who have been involved since the beginning uh, who are uh, extremely knowledgeable and, and can help you as well. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions again. Um, really look forward to uh, seeing the reaction from this video. Have a good one.